Hey everyone, welcome to video number 12 in the series Easy Ways to Fill a Sketchbook and thank you all for following along with this challenge so many of you have tagged me on your social media pages you guys have been very productive there are too many sketches for me to see and these are some of the sketches posted on Twitter there is a lot more on Instagram Right, so today we are going to draw something that starts with L. I'm going to be drawing laundry today. When I think of laundry, many things come to mind. Laundry hanging on a pole, laundry on a string, laundry in the washing machine, laundry in the laundry basket, laundry that's folded on the bed. So you can draw laundry or you can draw something else that starts with the letter L. You can draw a place, uh, some other objects or even names of singers or actors that start with, uh, whose name starts with L. So today I want to draw laundry that's hanging outside of a typical public housing block in Singapore. Let me do a very quick sketch using pencil again. So here in Singapore, we have, I mean, uh, laundry is hanged outside public housing. But for condos, they have laundry hanging on the balcony or inside the house. So I think the most common um, scenario here in Singapore is laundry on a bamboo pole. Some of these bamboo poles are actually quite long and residents, they hang a lot of uh, clothes on the poles. So sometimes the poles can get very heavy and when the wind blows, um, it can be quite scary. It makes you wonder whether or not the bamboo is strong enough to uh, hold the clothes and will not snap off with the strong wind. So let me know in the comment section below how you do your laundry, where do you hang it? Do you hang it on the drying rack? Do you hang it outside your house? Or do you hang it like on strings like those are European countries? Let me just draw this, uh, maybe have a tower here, a flat tower. And let me add some lines for the crease. And maybe a t-shirt here. I'm actually using a drawing with the help of a reference photo. Okay, so let me put some clothes, uh, clothes pack, and let me have another pole just behind. Okay, the lines should be um, vertical down, so now they are tilted slightly. I mean, gravity works like this, so my drawings are a bit off. Okay, so I'm just going to add some um, add some more clothes behind and later on I'll paint the shadows beneath the clothes, the shadows on the wall that are cast by the clothes. Let me start by wetting the surface first for a wet on wet wash. Okay, I'm going to paint this light wash of uh, cobalt blue. maybe with a little bit of um, rose matter now that this is dry let's paint some colors so let me paint with this yellow ochre or is it raw sienna
let me pick up the excess paint here so I'm going to paint the clothes on the second bamboo pole uh, with this same color for the bamboo pole I'm just going to paint it with this green phthalo green for this I would like to have a checkered tower and now for the shadows Okay, maybe I may want to paint a background here that goes behind. And maybe here as well. Just a very light wash. If this is the first video you are watching, you can go back and check out the earlier videos that I have made. And if you are following along, you can share your work online just add this hashtag az sketchbook to your drawing when you post it online so i think this sketch is almost complete uh, maybe let me just paint this window here in the background let me add some pink and yellow clothes pack so this is the completed sketch the clothes pack I think they make the sketch look more interesting than it is and lastly I just want to add some window grills so here's a close-up of my sketchy sketch I'm not sure how long this COVID-19 thing will last how long the quarantine and the lockdown will last hopefully it will end soon i really hope that it will end soon so for this subject matter laundry i'm thinking that this could be a good subject matter to paint with gouache because there are actually a lot of overlapping elements so you have laundry over laundry that could i mean this could work well with gouache hmm i'm not sure if i like this Anyway, sometimes the fun is in the process and not in the end result or destination. So thank you for watching. See you guys again tomorrow. Meanwhile, stay home, stay safe. Bye.